Today we're going to be talking about this book. This is The Last Thing You Told Me by Laura Dave. And I think it might be a little bit late to the party. I think a lot of people have read this book. But um, if you haven't, or if you're just interested in my thoughts, then I'll stick around. I hope you're all doing well. We are here today to talk about this book, The Last Thing You Told Me by Laura Dave. And um, as I said, I think a lot of people have read this book. This is sort of a very hyped thriller. And um, you know me, I'm all about a hyped thriller. I absolutely love a thriller that promises a good time. And this thriller promised me a very good time. So what is it about a hear you cry? Well, let me tell you. This story follows the story of Hannah. And Hannah has married a man who already has a, a, a daughter from a previous relationship. And um, Hannah is sort of negotiating that awkward sort of, I have a teenage stepdaughter, we don't get on. However, things get a lot worse for Hannah when her husband goes to work one morning and doesn't come back. That's right. He doesn't come back. But he does leave her a letter. And um, you'd think perhaps there would be some sort of like heartfelt apology for the fact that he's just run away. But no, no. His letter simply says, protector. And instantly Hannah knows exactly who we're talking about here. We're talking about her husband's 16-year-old daughter, Bailey. So basically the dad is up and left and left the stepmom with the stepdaughter who doesn't like her. And um, she now has to protect her from who knows what. And things quickly start to pick up pace from there. Start to get inclination that maybe there might be something pretty serious going on. Because it seems there are a lot of people who are very interested to find out where Owen may have disappeared to. And Hannah pretty quickly figures out that the man that she was married to, Bailey's father, is not the man she thought he was. In fact, she doesn't even know his real name, which would really annoy you, wouldn't it? That would be... That would be a bit of a kick in the teeth, wouldn't it? If you're looking for a fast-paced thriller, you can't get much better than this one. It was so, so fast-paced. It was so compelling to read that I just zoomed through it. I got through it really, really quickly. And um, every single chapter just leaves you with that wanting to know a little bit more. And there are some different themes in this book that I wasn't expecting. So I was expecting the sort of typical... Um, you know, the typical sort of formula for a domestic thriller. This went in a slightly different direction that I wasn't expecting, which threw me a little bit, and um, I really enjoyed it. One of the huge elements of this story that I really enjoyed was the relationship between stepmother and stepdaughter. And it is a relationship that we often see within fictional writing, where we sort of have the demonised stepmother and the wrong-footed teenager who has ended up with this person in their life that they end up hating. But the relationship between the stepmother and the stepdaughter within this one was really heartwarming. As I said, Bailey really hates her stepmother, but it doesn't stop her stepmother from pretty much doing everything she can to make things better for Bailey. And I have to say, I really enjoyed that alternate look at motherhood because we'll often have sort of a mother-daughter relationship or sort of a motherly figure within a book. Um, but it's not very often that it's a stepmother who is showing the same sort of maternal instincts towards a child that isn't their own. And I enjoyed that element of the story. It was actually probably one of my favourite parts of the story, I have to say. And the way the two of them have to work together to try and solve this mystery was something that I really very much enjoyed. They both have very different personalities and they both work at things in a very different way. But I enjoyed the way it played out and the way that it made the two of them sort of melt together I really liked it obviously as I've said there will be no spoilers here but I will say that I expected it to end in a completely different way it didn't end the way I thought it was gonna but I absolutely loved the ending the ending was really good for me I really enjoyed the way that everything was left in this book it sort of strayed away from the usual formula I will say there are certain elements to the story where you have to suspend belief a little bit but that is the case with most thrillers I love how this story addresses identity and what it means to be the person that you are and um, what that entails and it's personally something that I haven't read myself in a thriller before which I really enjoyed and so it just added to the story for me overall. This has actually been a bestseller in the US and I can see why it is such a compelling read and it's really made me want to look up more from Laura Dave and see what else she's written because as I say I've really enjoyed this one. So as usual let me know if you've read it, let me know if you're going to and um, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now. Bye.